Hello guys and welcome to episode 27 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign playing as Gostaltin, leading the Great Orthodoxy to save Urson. We should have the portals spawning soon, so that's something we've got to look forward to. But today I'm hopefully going to take Valienberg and uh, the rest of these settlements, so uh, Brookwater up here and also uh, the fort. And then we can move up into the Northern Grey Mountains and take those places. I just want to make sure that I get each and every province one by one here so that Midland doesn't like stop me getting commandments. One thing I am going to do though, actually I just noticed this line, what we can do is give them a war, co war coordination target to destroy those armies that are hanging about in our lands. Uh, so let's do that, we'll do war coordination, select target, boom, and exit from that. Yes. Um, these guys are at war with Vistan Land, aren't they? So I'm not so, going to give them a war coordination target. The Empire. I mean, they, they're, they're, these are all at war with so many people. I, I guess a lot of them are the Chaos factions, so that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, uh, Costaltin, one more turn. He gets all of his bears and stuff, which is nice. And then we can think about doing the quest finally as well. That's the other thing we got to do. Um, the quest for Feel Boris the Ursus. Of uh, wherever it is. I can't remember where the quest tab is. Oh, it's hidden. That's why it's down here. The Frozen Falls, this quest. Yeah, once we get the bears, we'll probably do that. Uh, then, Yosef. He needs to move on, but let's just grab a Elena. I switch. And we're going to go and Make them. destroy this. It's really weird how it. I have to play that out. Oh, it is a settlement battle, technically. It's really weird. I mean, it's going to be easy peasy. I mean, Elena can just kind of tank it for us while the Gossars kill anything that she's attacking. She probably doesn't have that much health, though, so I'm going to have to be careful. <laughs> Yeah, we're just coming from this side. Took fine. Our enemies are numerous, but they are ill prepared for ice magic. I do have death frost. We can use that on that guy. We'll save our wins. We fight for Olson. I'm going to stand her here, and then we should be able to get them to attack her. Or not. Or yes. I'm putting her this side on purpose, because we'll be able to shoot these pretty well. <laughs> it's very cool watching her fight. I think that watching the uh, eye switches fight is really cool. They have some really good attack animations when they're on foot. Alright, this big lad is actually going to be pretty hard for her to deal with, so let's just death frost him. 
Probably should have overcast that. And then we will shoot him to death. some of these further back. Well, that's extended cast range. Never mind. I probably shouldn't do overcast on that. Waste the time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> I will just disband this army afterwards. Unless I want to keep her. I don't know. I just don't think I can afford it. I mean, you can always just pop her up elsewhere to deal with other camps. Actually, there was another camp nearby. The Salzenmund camp. We could go ahead and take out that one as well. Now that I think about it. And then maybe she could also take out the Ogre army if the Midland forces don't go and get it. Yeah, we could just use her to clean up our back line. And then Eosif can carry on and take all the land off of the Ogres. Alright, well, we'll just take the money, because she's not, not going to need the replenishment. Sympathy. And we'll just move on. So. so yeah, we'll have her come over to the Salzman camp. Only what I listen to is me. No one tells a tyrant what to do. We can take two turns. We can do a roadhouse there for the growth. I switch. What's the garrison like? That's alright. Alright, got Salyak's Lullaby. That's really good, actually. Makes that army a lot stronger. And we'll go into encamp starts and move up as far as we can. Next turn, we'll attack Marienburg. Alright, Varna's leveled up. Max out the boost I income. Am uh, he's leveled up. We'll do. Let's see. Damage building's probably more useful. I'm gonna send him this way. So that he can spot any armies that we're going to have to deal with. Searching out blasphemers! Alright, let's go and take out this guy. Kill them. Lovely. Only I spread throat. Right, Evelina. I think the best thing that she can do is just get in the way. Back to the road. <laughs> just be annoying. <laughs> get in the way. <laughs> um, that's fine then. Lord not moved. Just these two. You have no power over me. Wow. Did he just like fully recruit an army? I will hunt you down. Doom Knights of Sinch. Well, they sound scary. Uh, the Great Unclean One. There's a lot of change in there. That is a hell of an army. Mistress of Ice. Holy moly. That was a mistake, maggot. Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? 
All right, uh, we're gonna have to move up Sarina again. Kislev goes forth. Face. Uh, do I play it out? I think we could play it out. I don't know if it'd be better to play it out or not. That's the question. I think we will play it out because then we can control like where the damage goes on our troops rather than just taking a chunk in each. But they have a lot of like fast moving units that are going to try and flank us. It's the one thing I'm a bit worried about. I think what I'm going to do is keep my Stolze back this time so that we can shoot all these big units. Because the DPS on the Strauzzi is pretty good. So I'm just going to deploy to the left. I probably should gamble. I, I always forget to gamble. We fight for Ursan! Cossacks! Defenders of this land! I mean, at least I technically have, like, boss units to protect my flanks. I'm actually just going to select all of this, and we're going to move forwards. Because I need more space to sit back. It is last day. On the march. Kislev sends us forth. Being blunters. There's so many flanking units. If I lose my cav, I actually don't care. Hey, Vizzy is dead, so that's good. An effective position. These Doom Knights. Oh, they're the ones on like the discs that fly around. Cool. Alright, we're gonna wanna shoot the Soul Grinders. Just buff these up. Right, my Lancers are not having fun. I need magic stuff to happen. The power of winter. Also, yeah, I completely forgot about all of these units. I mean, it's fine. And if she doesn't get involved, then her units will just be better off. Of the bear. Those Doom Knights seem really cool. Get all of these down here. I do have Death Frost, don't I? Use that on the Soul Grinder.
Okay, that went a lot better than I thought it would. These Doom Knights are pretty cool. I'm not convinced that their weapon is good though, like they are technically anti-large, right? Oh no, they're not. It's just weird that they have like a spear. I really thought they would do better. I'll end it there. Yeah, we did lose uh, a bunch of our calf, but that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. In this case, it was actually useful to have those calf, though, because it did kind of screen our flanks. And I think on the left, like, they actually won, so... Yeah, not bad. Uh, the main question to ask is, is is the army going to be strong enough to take out Bursting now? Probably, so that's good. Also, these this faction will be gone. Hopefully, Vizier is dead. Ah, uh, we take the punishment. Unpaid labor. I deal. I only serve the changer. And Evelyn has got herself a... Bear, which is great. With this, my He's got a bunch of points to spend. That's really good. Very nice. Uh, let's actually give this guy. Some weapons, or oh, sorry, an enchanted item. Does he have, do we have any extra enchanted items? Oh, we've got a potion of healing, yeah, we can give them that. Nice. Should probably give this guy some items as well. Uh, armor, dragon helm, I think it's the only one we have. I can give him a sword of might. Talisman of protection. And I guess Saint Anushka's finger. I don't know why that was highlighted. Weird. An item of higher rarity is available. Yeah, that's fine. We can give him all of these as well. Isn't there one that gives us... Um, yeah, campaign map movement range, there we go. Perfect. Uh, tax collect is probably the next best one there. Oh, I should probably do the same with her. She's got the Helm of Discord and the Sword of Striking, but she hasn't got a Talisman yet. I guess we can give her the ruby ring as well. It's fine. Uh, and then ancillaries. She's already got the movement range one, so... Let's just do... Extra line of sight. Corruption reduction is nice. And income. Good. Does this guy have his ancillaries? Yes. Nice. Loads of extra campaign map movement range. That's Lord really, really good. So Serena leveled up. Where do we go next with her? What does she naturally buff? So Ice Queen, minus upkeep for Ice Guard. So I guess we level up whatever gives us Ice Guard. 
benefits. Is there none for Ice Guard? So War Sled's little Grom units. War Bear Riders, Elemental Bears, and Snow Leopards. War Sarches, Cossavite Dervishes, Wing Lancers, and Griffin Legion. Oh, this is the call. There we go. It is mine by right. Oh, she doesn't have a talisman, actually. Weird. We don't really have many talismans. <laughs> so there is that. Anyway, uh, we'll move her up. And we'll probably get another level from doing this anyway. I knew that was going to kill that. So that's totally fine. I don't mind. No more threat than mice. Your feet. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Of the motherland. That's fine. Mars. We can just move next time. They can cuddle. We destroyed that faction. I wanted to go into encamp stance, but never mind, I guess. Right, she chillin'. Now just building upgrades available. So anything we want to do. Don't think so. Hmm, could upgrade that. Doesn't cost that much. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's move on, I think, to the next turn. Oh nice, he's got the muster trait as well, minus recruitment costs. <laughs> Getting to that point where he's just going to be able to recruit stuff for free. And corrupted by Nurgle. Present in province with high Nurgle corruption? Wait, what? Isn't it like really low? That's so weird. Alright, Krakadrak is under siege. Also, Gorson has come back. Costalton's lost the Infernal Bloodlust. Great, which is good. And Committee for State Security. The Patriarchs descend upon every home, rooting through drawers and overturning bookshelves in search of any hint of heresy. I think we've read that before. Cool. Alright. So, next thing we want to do is wipe out another, Get it done. another rogue army. All these rogue armies are so frustrating. Go away. Is that the same faction? For you. I think it is. I am but we're going to wipe out this army. Patriarch. And then the walls will be finished, so that will be really good. Patriarch of his end, the non -believers. And we'll wipe out this army. Actually... Maybe I should do the quest battle first. Dominate me. first and then we attack the army. Because I think this is easy, way easier for us to defeat. Because we do have loads of these bears. Obey. So these bears will just run down these units. You may touch me. So let's go to the quest. Select Ostaltin. And... I am we just broke. top out. And we teleport. And we play this out. Uh, let's put this on just one of these units. It's mostly ranged forces, which is good. Like, Siege is good for us to fight. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Let's jump on in. I'm excited for this. When the Red Tsar fell from his faithful mount Erskine, or Erskine, the waters, real waters, swept him away back to the motherland, and there he has rested ever since, encased in ice, until now. But Boris Boka wakes from his hibernation, having heard the death roar of Erson. 
However, the en great enemy is quick to act. Sinch's minions surround the ice, weaving a powerful spell to weaken the Motherland's wards and crack open Boris's frozen casket. The sorcerers must be toppled from their perches and slain before their spell is complete. So I assume we have to... We've got like a timer, maybe. Let's do it. Sons and daughters of Kizilev, get them! Throw your bodies in front of their cursed blades! Do whatever you must to save the Red Tsar! Yeah, oh and all our bears, oh how cool is that? Oh yeah, here we go. We've got to eliminate the three Chaos Sorcerers. Okay. Onwards we go. This work sends us forth, taking position. I'm gonna put all of these into a group. And we're just gonna charge. Those pink horrors actually hurt quite a lot. <laughs> oh, we got some on that side as well. Right, they are going to get utterly annihilated. We even have like the heavy war sites now as well. To run them through. We have to take out this lad. I've taken out those. It's good. <laughs> Just the charge. <laughs> this is so good. We're doing so much damage. want to kill these ASAP. They are unbreakable, so unfortunately we have to kill every single one, but we can maybe just get around them here and kill them off. Good. I'm going to send the bear and Gustaltin to kill the iridescent horror. Great. Are they going to have reinforcements? I don't remember it saying reinforcements expected. Big bears come say hello. a bunch of these coming in behind us. Those burning chariots, they gotta go. Yeah, I think those units got absolutely wrecked. Okay. Let's grab these and just turn them around. Do I have anything that can help here. Not really. I am 
It's interesting, I'm just kind of like treating it like Cost Alton's growing up here with the big bear. Whilst the army kind of holds off any reinforcements. We do need to go and destroy this soul grinder. So let's go do that. So the heavy war sled, I think, it just has more armor on it. Megan of ice. Kislev sends us forth. Heavy war sled. Pain is duty. Yeah, those screamers are. Getting wrecked. <laughs> Soul Grinder is getting wrecked. Good to see. Making it so the cold rises. Yes. Alright, so the bears move down here then. And maybe we'll move on this side. Let's go get the Herald. We fight for Olsen. Behold! You went flying. It's funny. And <laughs> again. Gonna buff up Cost Out and he's got 988 weapon strength for 144 melee attack. Nice. Right, can you stop knocking him about now and just kill him? You actually, we actually haven't done any damage to him. There you go. Actually, start attacking him. Don't just knock him about. <laughs> Get rid of the pink horrors. Great. That's that done. And we have the bears coming down. Pushing in. Get rid of the flame is nice and easy. Oh, the light war sleds went straight through them. Oh, it just obliterated them. I don't know if that was also the uh, the ranged forces, but hot damn. That was brutal. These are just standard Chaos Knights. I'm pretty sure the bears are just so much better. They do have bonus versus large, so yeah, these Chaos Knights don't stand a chance. Oh, 
for the ice. Yeah, I do have the crossman here, so we can probably just keep pushing. I, it doesn't look like there's any reinforcements coming in, so we are totally fine. unit and then we can focus on the other one I mean this has ranged attack right so we just shoot it to death they're saying that looks like I might just disintegrate yep they're banished he stirs there is hope for the motherland yet There he is. Is he gonna break out of the ice? No. <laughs> it would be cool if there was like an animation for that, <laughs> but never mind. So what I might do actually is uh, make Boris Ursus the leader of the third army that I have. Um, actually, I say that not my third army, fifth army, like the one that we built with Elena. I'm curious what sort of skills he has, if he's actually any good. He's just like a melee lord. Yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it did. Other than those two units taking a bit of damage there, like, that was pretty pretty good. I think those got hit by the chariots while I wasn't looking. I would actually get much reward for that. Let's just take take the replenishment. Alright, the Red Tsar returns. Boris the Red has returned. With Kislev imperiled, he is ready to protect the motherland and its people from the dreaded threat of chaos once more. Along with his growing followers of Urson revivalists, the send the Red Tsar to where he is needed most. So, Kislev gifted to Urson revivalists. Uh, Prague gifted to Urson revivalists. I mean, we just joined the faction, right? Boris will forsake his followers and join with your forces for the good of the motherland. Yeah, I don't know why we'd give our places away. <laughs> that seems kind of stupid. Alright. So, if we go over to Elena, I can probably replace her with Boris. Boris Ursus. There he is. He gets minus upkeep for war bear riders. That's actually really nice. And an extra melee attack and leadership when fighting warriors of chaos and demons of chaos and Norska. I mean, what we could do is maybe have him go and wipe out like Aisling and stuff for us. But we'll pop him in this army for now. Once and future. Yeah, and we'll maybe have him come up here um, to destroy these afterwards. I mean, I might still disband this army afterwards anyway. Uh, but this would be a good way for him to get a bit of experience. Does he have a quest? He does. He has two quests. One at rank 7 and one at rank 10. Cool. Oh, so we've got those to look forward to as well. Uh, what's his stuff like? Stout-hearted, 
extra weapon strength. Regeneration for elemental bears. Oh wow, so he really buffs bears big time. Extra relations with Kislev. That's really nice. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is great. He gets his mount back, Raskin. Very nice. Okay. Well, he's going to be traveling around to Salzman camp this turn anyway. Uh, we'll probably want to recruit some more dudes. If we go into this territory, I think it will take yeah, less turns to recruit here. That's good. Cool. Alright, so then we've got this attack to make. Just level up Piotr. What rank is he? He's 41. This will go soothsaying for now. And... We can just go specialist, I suppose. That's fine. Alright. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we're going to leave it here. That was really, really fun. Um, I, I, mean, I like that a lot. We were... I guess our army was like OP for that anyway. Like it's always hard to tell like how hard the quest battles are actually going to be, but that one was pretty simple, especially considering there wasn't any reinforcements. Um, I am Kostantin. But yeah, next time around we'll take out Melchior and uh, we'll try and head down to the Ultra Spawns and wipe out uh, the Demons of Chaos or the Legion of Chaos, sorry, before we see the portals. That would be good. And then what we're going to do is. Maybe we could travel across the water up here to attack the Crimson Skull and wipe them out so that they stop coming towards us as well. Uh, but we're making a progress against the Ogres down here. Uh, we're going to also oh, be able yeah. to take Marienburg, so that's good. And then we can head up to Breakwater and just take all of this land. Yeah. And uh, there's also the Norden camp, so yeah, I think Boris Ursus is going to have plenty of armies no here to engage to although Plague is getting a big old army so I don't, I don't think Boris is going to be able to deal with that I'm hoping that Middenland maybe helps us out we'll see that's it hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye yeah,